Hey guys, how's it going? This is Kendris. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do animation using 3D models in Crip Studio Paint. So you can do a couple of things that is going to make animations uh, a little bit easier. You know, you can make a character rotate uh, using 3D models. Uh, that's pretty basic. Or So you can have something like this uh, and create like a, you know, your character's movement and even the camera it's pretty simple to do if you're using the 3D models and then you can go over and you know draw your character or the hair or anything like that uh, you, can use, you can use the 3D model as like the base of the base of the animation like the movement of the character and the camera and then on top you draw your character and after you can just uh, hide the 3D model and leave your character and you know, have your own animation like that. Pretty simple. So I'm, in this video I'm going to show you how you can do that. So you open like a new file you know, and maybe it doesn't have this, the timeline, right? So you go to window and go to timeline, see that like it doesn't have anything for you to put the timeline. Okay, click on the timeline and it shows up probably shows up like there and the, you can actually attach it to the bottom you can attach it to the bottom of the of the page so you know, it's a little easier to keep it there I think okay so something I like to do uh, if you're gonna put a 3D model don't put it in like the you get this like animation folder don't put it there put it so don't put like the 3D model in animation. I could put it and take it out, but let's see. Let's choose a pose, drag it, and put it outside, outside of the animation folder. So you can even turn off the animation folder and things like that. Okay, so what I like to do is you duplicate the layer, very simple. So now you have two, and then you rasterize so it becomes like a flat image like it's no longer a 3d model it's, you know it's, it's pretty much like a picture now and then you still have the original that you can still move and then what i like to do is like you can decrease the opacity of the copy and then go back to the original okay i'm gonna do this a few times uh you'll get it i'm sure you get it. so okay we got that and now we can go back here uh, you move the camera see and you can see since this is transparent you can see it moving a little bit you, know, you, can, get, you can get like a preview of it uh, and then you do the same thing again copy duplicate layer and then it's, now you rasterize and then you uh, okay, you decrease the opacity of the layer, and then you go back here and you move the character. So what you're doing is you're creating like a little bit by little by little. You're creating the frames like okay here, and now it's moving a little here. And you know, it's instead of drawing, you just copying through the model and moving it, so it gives the illusion that it's moving. And yeah, this seems like a, a lot of work that you have to copy and rasterize and move it. Uh, and it can be, but what I like to do, I, I did this action, out of action. I just press one button and it does all that, like right away. Out of action, so it copies it, it rasterizes the layer, and then makes the opacity lower. Like uh, It does it by itself. So I just have to keep moving the camera. Right now I go here, press this. It's gonna rasterize it, and you know do the same thing. So it will take you a couple minutes, uh, but that, that's definitely a lot faster than just drawing it by hand. And yeah, so I'm just gonna keep going, and then if it starts getting like a little like unclear. What, if you can't see it properly, just hide the layers, leave fewer layers so it's still 
so you get a better view it doesn't really matter too much if you're doing this rotation you know just rotating the character or the camera around so after you have everything like that I, uh, let's say you did the, the whole turn around so the character turned around uh, completely or whatever uh, animation you want to do so after you made all the copies and you know you got the, the different frames you select all of them and drag them to the animation folder see but right now they're not really visible uh, they're there and in order for them to, to be visible you have to go here to the animation folder and then so you, you right click and then you have all of this have the names of all the layers and since you're doing copies luckily it, it gives you like a number of each so it's easier to just follow them and let's say the first one it will be the copy the first one then you go number two you go to number two number three number three four so you just keep doing that you <clears throat> so you right click and then select the the frame that you want and luckily is number properly so so this uh, blue is like the this blue lines these blue bars are like the time the whole time that is gonna play and the last frame usually the last frame is the 13th frame for this little animation and it's supposed to end here but then it just keeps copying the, the last frame until the end right but you can go here on uh, like about the top of the little square and then you can like move it back you get this little symbol and you can move it back oh and you can move the time you know how you can make it longer and put more or less and make it like exactly one frame one frame each or something like that you can click so you can click here the loop play if you have that you, it will just keep playing back and forth so okay so this is like the little animation I just did right it's like the character turning kind of weird <laughs> it's spinning and like the camera is moving a little bit so it looks like you know you create this illusion that is moving but it's only uh, like still images and you know that's the like the basic idea like, you, you, I would say this is a really good like, exercise to do to get used to like this uh, little trick to get used to copying the 3D model and like moving around and like you know putting in the frames and things like that like that, I think that's a good exercise for that so now let's do a little different animation let's see what comes up so um, you know same idea you're gonna have the move the character a little bit and then you copy it and things like that okay so I'm just gonna leave it like this uh, let's see how it came out you create a, a new animation folder by clicking here see new animation folder let's say new animation folder here okay so I'm gonna do that and select all of this so this is how it came out uh, it's not the best pretty choppy but I guess and you can always go in and like fix it if you have better like technique of like you know animating and things like that you're definitely gonna get better results like uh, you know and maybe more like simple animation too like so maybe this is a little tricky uh, yeah but I just wanted to show you guys you could do this uh, and okay one uh, one last thing I want to show is that you can do something like this. Let's say you add another folder on top. Let's say maybe this folder and make it. You still did do this for the whole folder. I right? click here and then make it like blue or whatever color you want. Okay. Now the cool thing, well, the cooler thing, 
okay you can go over the other stuff that you have done let's say okay you, you gotta click here new animation cell and pretty much creates like a new frame or something like that uh, right on top of the of the other ones so let's say I have something like this uh, you have a you can go over and draw let's say this is the the hair uh, yeah really basic <laughs> it's not great but okay so then you go to the next frame and you gotta create a new one see so it so the previous so it moves to the next frame and then you gotta create a new one so and then you draw the hair on this one Oh, you can and okay. I forgot about this. You can actually create the click here, enable enable union skin. So it shows you a preview of the previous uh, of the previous thing that you drew, the previous frame. So you can kind of match it and make like a better transition. So that helps too. Let's see, like this. You do the same for the. No, keep going frame by frame still gives you like a preview uh, you know so you get an idea um, yeah so that pretty much that's it uh, yeah you can do that just draw over it and I'm not gonna finish this one because it was coming out pretty bad but you know if you look at this one uh, I guess it will be pretty much the same same idea. You know, just draw over it, and you have a, you know, pretty cool stuff. You just draw, and then after you just remove it, you have your own character. So that's gonna be it for now. I've been experimenting with this uh, animation stuff, and maybe I didn't go too much in depth of like everything that he has, but I think it's pretty good to get you guys started or you know maybe like a few new ideas to for you guys to try yeah let me know what you guys think i'll definitely be doing another video about it once i get more into it and like figure out more stuff so i just wanted to share this video with you guys subscribe for more videos like this and tutorials share the video if you guys like this share it with your friends and followers so yeah, that's going to be it for now. Take care, guys. Bye.